Hi, Jay Ford here with Chesapeake Bay Foundation out on Virginia's Eastern Shore. And today I'm gonna to be talking to you about one of my favorite native plants, Monarda fistulosa, also known as wild bergamot, also known as bee balm, also known as a fragrant native pollinator plant that might be perfect for your backyard. Native Americans used Monarda fistulosa as a medicinal plant often applying it as poultices or using it as a tea because they recognize its natural antiseptic properties. Modern science tells us that that ingredient is something called thymol, which is also found in the garden herb thyme, but also used in things like mouthwash because of its antiseptic properties. Early colonists were struck by the flavor similarities between members of the Monarda family and their favorite beverage from back home, bergamot tea. While bergamot tea is derived from an orange, the similarities were such that colonists began to refer to members of the Monarda family as wild bergamot. And during the Revolutionary War, when tea became hard to come by, it was common for each colonial household to keep a Monarda plant in the yard for tea. One of the ways that bee balm is helping save the bay is happening down here at the root level. Bee balm is a member of the mint family, and as such, it puts out a thick mat of roots in all directions that help lock up the soil and nutrients. Monarda will grow anywhere from two to four feet each year, and in midsummer provide a pink to purple showy flower that will attract many pollinators to your yard.